You might wonder if there is a need for a cybersecurity education. Well, Public Safety Canada and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security think so. That is why they created the Cybersecurity Action Plan. As part of this action plan, it's their goal to educate people in cybersecurity. The plan states that Canadian networks need to be secure from adversaries. It is a matter of national security, sovereignty, and privacy protection. Cybersecurity matters to everyone, every day, for a safer and more prosperous Canada. Because of that, there's a big impact on businesses. <clears throat> this impact on business includes cybercrime, costs companies billions of dollars every year across the globe. Some of these companies specifically are Target, Bell, and Canadian Tire. Only to name a few. That's three. Three might have heard of. <laughs> <laughs> that incredible number is only going to grow. By 2017, the cybersecurity market is expected to grow from 60 billion to 120 billion, meaning more job opportunities for students like myself. And me. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Take a look at some of the job opportunities that I can get and he can get out of high school. Think about. It. We're gonna get to that in a second. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> All right. So to prepare students for this digital age that we're living in right now, in this moment, at Sisler High School, we've developed a Network and Cybersecurity Academy framework, so that students can prepare themselves for this upcoming future, for this huge market. They can prepare for careers and post-secondary opportunities. At Sisler High School, our goal to educate people in this field is to teach them a wide array of things, a wide array of things such as networking technology, computer science, mathematics, cybersecurity, and project management. Project management brings it all together and gives you the business aspect. But of course, the best way for students to learn is to be in a competition environment, just like Cyber Patriot, which is a cyber defense competition. In case you've never heard of a cyber defense competition before, the goal is to mitigate attacks in a virtual networking environment. So students have a ton of fun doing that. But of course, the best thing for students to do is to become motivated on their own time. If they're motivated on their own time with a program like Cyber Patriot, they begin to research on their own time, communicate with each other, collaborate, apply those skills into the competition, reflect on what they maybe missed, and then they teach each other. But of course, this isn't just some smoke and mirrors environment, right? Like a lot of people might think it is. This stuff actually applies into the real world every single day. Trust me, I use it all the time. But of course, there's a little bit of smoke and mirrors, that's what makes it fun. So critical thinking skills, in my opinion, the biggest thing students take away from joining in on cyber defense. Every day with technology and cybersecurity, as we all know, it's rapidly developing. So students always encounter new situations and new scenarios. So they have to update their critical thinking skills all the time, often in limited amounts of time. But Sisler has actually been to the Cyber Patriot National Finals three years in a row. Every single year since we've had our academy. We're the only team in Canada, never mind internationally, to ever qualify for this American competition. Students are directly recruited into the industry after participating in this, and they have tons of fun doing it. But of course, students need that motivation, right? Going down on the all expense paid trip to Washington, D.C. for the national finals is that motivation. Down there, students meet notable industry professionals and tons of cool military members, so they have lots of fun. And this isn't like hacking, all right? This is anti-hacking. So we, we promote cyber ethics. Uh, I myself have delivered cyber ethics, cyber safety, cyber security uh, presentations uh, with another person to over 2,500 students. But what's it like to be a cyber feature competitor? If you want to bring this into your classroom, what would the students expect? Well, they'd expect to learn how to stay safe while using a computer. They'd learn the insides of their computer and how the operating system works. They'll have the skills that they can apply in their everyday life, and there'll be tons of job opportunities. But as a coach, which I was this year, uh, and some people in here might be, you don't need any IT background at all. You just need to have an engaging learning environment for the students to be in. You'll develop some IT security knowledge on your, on your own, and you'll see these students excel and have tons of fun. Another big question, are students gonna come out of this job rate? That's a big question these days. And the answer is yes, recently myself and a few others were hired at Occupy Managed Services, a local security company. So I can actually apply the skills I picked up in the competition directly into the industry. I could talk about this for like 24 hours. But